The wave of school infernos began about two months ago and has since persisted, forcing learning to be suspended in most of the affected schools, with thousands of parents left to bear the cost of the damages. This was the case for parents in Kakamega Boys National School who were requested to pay each a sum of 10,000 shillings as a compensation for the damages. Hakika imekuwa ni vigumu sana manake. Saizi pesa kupatikana ni ngumu na wanataka kitu kama elfu kumi. Tunashindo tatuwa wapi. Si tumeamua sasa turejele nyumbani. Hatuja kubaliwa kuingia mle ndani. Wanasema lazima tulipe kwanza ndo tuingie kule ndani. Haya walikuwa asubui na mapema lakini saizi sasa wameondoka. Walikuwa awako wanataka tuende mle ndani. Walikuwa nakata tusingie mle ndani. Given the COVID-19 pandemic which took a toll on most of the parents who lost their main source of income, many say it has become hard for them to raise the funds in a short period of time. In a letter sent out on Thursday, Kakamega High School parents had to pay a total of 21.6 million shillings for the damages caused by the November 6th fire that gutted down two dormitories. And just like Violet, many parents are against the amount. With the charges that were imposed, it is uh, unacceptable. Maybe the administration could have just given the parents time even to air themselves. And even for those with fee balances, they could have been allowed to give on how they are going to clear this by then given a period of time to clear the, the mess. Maybe four weeks, maybe one month or two, two months. The school estimated the cost of rebuilding the burnt infrastructure at 12.1 million, cost of double decker belts at 4.1 million, CCTV installation at 685,000, and cost of damaged items for 560 students at 4.5 million. Wazazi ndio wanatabika, wazazi wanaangaika na fees, na already kuda watoto wengine walikuwa mefukuza wako inje because of school fees they have not cleared the study fees na wazazi wako wale di wanataka kuona watoto wao wale wako ndani borders you know ni vizuri kama wanaweza kubali wazazi waone watoto alafu wajua watoto wao wako sawa alafu wazazi warudi nyumbani for parents in Jamhuri High School, things were not any better as many parents flocked to find out the fate of their children after a fire that was witnessed in the school late on Sunday evening. Takibriti ya wezi ngea na ye, na bila ungo yake. Ata juu sa wezi ngea na ye, sakuriti ni tight. Sakuriti ni tight. Suji ni nani meengia na batroli, unangia na batroli aje, atu juu. It was a tragedy that saw one of the school dormitory completely burnt down with lots of properties destroyed. Parents now left in awe concerning the cause of the tragedy as the school is well equipped with security cameras. The children or whoever uh, started the fire did it. So investigations are still going on. The DCI team is still here. The Ministry of Education is still here. The Teacher Service Commission team is still here. They will come up with the conclusion from the investigations that they have carried out. On his part, the Kupet Executive Secretary Moses Mbora said it was a shocking incident among the various stakeholders, stating that the DCI is conducting a thorough investigation to find out the cause of the fire. The rise in school infernos appears to be the daily norm across the country, with the parents now left with the burden to bear the cost of the damages, and the Ministry of Health expected to solve the puzzle. Nyabero Vina for Ibru TV.